Hi, hello, welcome to VHL Basics. Today we are going to implement 2 east 1 mux using tri state buffer. So, first of all, we need to know what is uh, three tri state buffer. This is the symbol of tri state buffer. A and uh, C are the inputs, Z will be the output. There are two types of uh, tri state buffer with respect to the control whether that is uh, uh, enabled with high or uh, enabled with low so uh, i have given uh, both the truth tables here so the first one is for uh, whenever c is i which means that buffer is enabled so if you see whatever present in the a it will be assigned to z whenever c is i if c is zero output will be assigned as i impedance likewise the second buffer if you see whenever c equal to 0 at the time whatever present in the a that will be assigned to output is z when c is 1 output will be assigned as i impedance so this is the simple diagram of 2 east 1 max where i not i1 and the selector the input and output is it if you see the truth table here whenever uh, select is 0 whatever present in the i naught that will be assigned to output is it whenever select is 1 whatever present in the i1 that will be assigned to output is it this is this uh, boolean expression of uh, twist on max z equal to select bar dot i naught plus select dot i1 now implementation of twist on max using uh, dry state buffer so if you see here uh, we are going to use uh, uh, both type of dry state buffer so uh, if you take uh, this first buffer when select is zero this is enabled which means whatever present in the i naught that will be assigned to the output is that in the case of uh, second buffer when select is zero this has been disabled output will be assigned as i impedance so there are two uh, pins are driving this output is that but one is driving with i impedance means that should be fine so at that time any one of the buffer should drive this output is that otherwise we will get uh, uh, undefined value and if you see when select is one this is disabled which means output will be assigned as i impedance this is enabled whatever present in the i1 that will be assigned to the output is that this is how we need to implement the 2 is one max using tri-state buffer now i am going to implement this circuit in verilog and i will simulate that i will show you the result as well here i am going to implement uh, those two types of buffer so first one if you see when c is 1 that is enabled whatever present in the a that will be assigned to uh, y when c is 0 i impedance will be assigned to output y here in this buffer when c is 0 input a will be assigned to output y when c is 1 i impedance will be assigned to the output y here i am going to implement uh, max using the tri state buffer if you see here this buffer is enabled when c is 0 this buffer is enabled when c is 1 so in place of a i am uh, giving i naught in place of c i am uh, connecting select and in place of output y i am connecting z here i am connecting uh, i1 to a select to c and output z i am connecting to y so if select is 0 i naught will be assigned to z this buffer is disabled at the time when select is 1 this buffer is disabled and i1 will be out assigned to output z this is what uh, functionality of the 2 is 1 max this is the uh, test bench for 2 is 1 max where i am going to instantiate uh, uh, that max using buffer uh, module so here I am declaring i naught i1 select as a register since those three are input I am as a uh, declaring wire as uh, is it as wire since that is output of the max 
so here i am instantiating uh, that mux using buffer module and here i am giving i am toggling the input values now i will explain with the waveform so here this is i1 buffer when select is 1 whatever present in this a that will be reflector in output y in case of i i not buffer when control is 0 at the time whatever present in a that will be reflected in output y so if you see the uh, mux module right here we are having i naught i1 select and z so with respect to select when select is 0 whatever present in the i naught that is reflected in output z when select is 1 whatever present in i1 that is reflecting in output z so this is the twist one mux functionality so using tri-state buffer we have implemented the to Eastern Max. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe this channel for more videos.